Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. So today I'm just going to discuss a little bit about uh, how I got to where I am. So part of understanding how and why I'm so successful in dealing with all types of digestive issues is partially determined by how I got to where I am today. A person's history and how they conquered those obstacles is a big part of what makes that person who they are today. Uh, so this is my story so you can kind of better understand who I am uh, and where I come from. Now, I forget my exact age, but I suffered from some severely debilitating stomach and digestive issues when I was younger. I don't really remember my exact age uh, when, when these episodes started happening, but I believe I was around 12 or 13 years old. And at first, they just started off with um, a couple of what I would imagine to be routine stomach aches. And I say routine because my body just does not get normal stomach aches or gut pain. I get severe, severe intestinal pain. Even to this day, if I get sick, food poisoning, some stomach flu or whatever, I don't just get a little sick, I get a lot sick. And I think it's just because of my history. And I will be on the toilet, I will be uh, hugging that porcelain gut, giving it everything I got and, and until it's over. Um, luckily those don't happen too often anymore. Um, but you know, every, every once in a while you get a little something and you, know, you get food poisoning or whatever, and you just can't help that sometimes. So anyway, back to when I was a kid. Um, initially, my pain started off uh, fairly infrequent and not all that severe. And for whatever reason, they got worse and worse over time. So over the next few months, my problems became more severe and more frequent. And I was never able to find out what would trigger an episode, but they would just kind of seem to come on out of the blue. And when I would get an episode, it would start off fairly gradual and slowly escalating pain. And I began to know when it was coming on, but there was literally nothing I could do to stop it. it I just had to kind of prepare myself. I tried all kinds of you know, medications and natural stuff and anything in, under, under the sun because I wanted that pain to stop. So as the pain came on and got worse over a period of generally about 24 hours, it would get to the point that it was such excruciating pain that I would be on the floor, crying, vomiting, just a complete mess. I would be unable to drink any liquids without it coming back up. And generally over the course of about 48 hours, I would become so severely dehydrated that all the muscles in my body would be begin to contract or spasm. Um, I mean, my hands and wrists and everything would just ball up like this and there was nothing I could do to stop it. So at that point, uh, my parents would rush me off to the hospital and they'd pump me full of a bunch of you know, anti-inflammatories and pain medications and all that kind of crud just to kind of help break the cycle and get over it. And, and then, you know, that'd be it. The type of pain that I would experience was literally the type of pain that would At the time, I kind of remember thinking like, man, I, if I'm going to go through the rest of my life like this, I, I don't want to. Because even if it was, you know, it lasted for a week, uh, it, was, it was bad. It was really bad. So uh, I remember having those thoughts, and luckily, you know, I didn't have to do anything about that. After each episode, uh, I would be so out of it, because everything that I would you know, be going through, that it would take me about a week of being off school to recover during this time. And needless to say, during my um, junior high and high school years, when I would have these episodes, you know, I missed a moderate amount of time. Over the next year, I was getting episodes about every two to three months and trying to figure out what was going on, trying to figure out what was triggering it, what we could do to make it better. My parents took me to just about every type of GI specialist and, you know, head honcho guy that they could imagine and had every type of intestinal, stomach, kidney, liver, bowel, and gallbladder test imaginable, and many of them I even had multiple times. I'm sure you can probably guess that the doctors didn't find anything, so I left my parents uh, seeking other answers. Uh, to make a long story, a uh, very long story short, we, my, uh, actually my mom was actually able to find a doctor um, that could help with my problems, and over the next year, two years, I was probably about 15 or 16 by this time, uh, we worked on anything and everything we could do to help my body heal itself. And it took a lot of hard work, but I was able to do it. Uh, and I, I know you can do it too. Uh, I was a teenage boy at the, at the time, and I didn't want to listen to my parents. I didn't want to listen to some you know, know-it-all doctor. 
but my motivation was I wanted to avoid that pain. I didn't want to experience it again. That uh, you know, I was willing to do anything and everything that I could to get better, and, and luckily I did. So that experience uh, or experiences and trials and tribulations that I went through to come out the other side was, in my opinion, uh, one, if not the defining factor in my life that helped me make helped make me into the person that I am today. As a result of going through all that, I decided to become a doctor and I specialize in natural healthcare. So I try to avoid the drugs when possible. Um, I specialize in a lot of GI and digestive health issues uh, by any and all means necessary. When a patient experiences any type of di digestive ailment, ache or pain, I, I really feel their pain because I've literally been there myself. And I know the type of debilitating pain that it can be, and I don't wish that on anybody. So there you have it. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Thanks for taking the time to listen to my story, and I'm really looking forward to helping you achieve better digestive health for yourself, for your family member, or whoever. And I uh, look forward to meeting you soon. If you'd like to make an appointment, just give us a phone call, and uh, I'd be happy to help you. Be happy. Be healthy.